Hey everyone, good morning, James Azar here with the Cyber Hub Podcast, or should I say good afternoon, back in the studio after a few days of traveling and on the road. I apologize for the delay in getting today's practitioner brief out to you. Make sure you subscribe before we get started today, folks. You can do that on your favorite audio listening platform or on here on YouTube. Make sure you hit the bell to get notifications. You can also go to cyberhubpodcast.com. That's where you'll find our practitioner brief and a lot more detail with all the links, everything you need in order to make the best decisions for your organizations and your security program. Today, let's get right into some of the headlines that have me preparing differently today. Iranian hackers are exploiting unpatched vulnerabilities. Yesterday, I spoke about another uh, CISA alert today um, that had to do with China. Today, it has to do with Iranian. Again, highlighting the same major vulnerabilities that have not been patched yet. My Lord, my Lord, please, folks, patch your stuff. I'm going to create a patch song. And I'm going to play this patch song every time on the show to remind you all to patch and make it a ringtone and I'll make it free for you guys to download. But please patch. The big vulnerabilities that the Iranians are taking advantage of is the CVE 2019-11510, which is the file reading vulnerability in Pulse Secure Connect Enterprise VPN servers. CVE 2019-11539er, an authentication command injection, also in the Pulse Connect Secure product. CVE 2019-19781, an arbitrary code vulnerability in Citrix Gateway and Citrix SD WAN WANUP appliances. And CVE 2025-902, a remote code execution vulnerability in F5's big IP networks products. CISA is seeing a lot of movement from Iran. They have not seen data exfils yet, folks. That has not been the case, but they are seeing a bunch of 7-zip files and so forth. So that exfil is on the way with this. So just let's get these patched. It's already out there. I know patching takes a long, a, a, a long time. I know that sometimes it's really, really complex. I'm not judging. I'm just saying, folks, the threat is real. Two alerts, back-to-back days by CISA. Let's us know that someone is planning something and that we need to be prepared. We cannot ignore it. We can't lay back. We have to really uh, do something about it. In other news, the uh, Cer- um, the Cerberus banking trojan source code has been released for free to cyber attackers. The originators of the code were trying to auction it off at uh, fifty thousand dollars, hoping to get about a hundred grand for it. When they couldn't, um, according to uh, Kaspersky, um, next twenty twenty, a conference that Kaspersky just put on this week, um, it is now available for free online. The malware itself is able to read text messages that contain OTA, OTPs, one-time passwords, and two-factor authentication codes, thereby bypassing typical uh, 2FA account protections. That's why folks use a two-factor authentication app much better than the interception of codes over your phone. We all know SIM swapping attacks are a big deal as well. Um, the operators, again, were trying to uh, set this out, but the, EP, uh, the APK uh, source code, client list servers, and have all been um, been put out there. Um, this hasn't generated the kind of money they were hoping to, around 10 grand a month for them, and so they decided that this wasn't worth it anymore. They're not going to pursue this business venture. They're going to just give it for free for everyone to weaponize and take it from there, uh, the world of underground crime. Uh, Bluetooth spoofing bug affects billions of IoT devices, so researchers, academic researchers have discovered a Bluetooth low energy vulnerability that allows spoofing attacks that could affect the way humans and machines carry out tasks. Uh, This is um, potentially could impact billions of IoT devices. Now, we constantly talk about IoT devices and you go, James, what does this have to do with why are you paying attention to this? Well, because I'm being asked a lot to start preparing a long term work from home regimen meaning that a lot of the organizations I'm working with as a CISO have been having these conversations with me along the lines of, yeah, we're going to come back, but we really want to keep people work from home. We want to transition to work from home. We want to transition to a BYOD protocol. And so let's start planning for it. And when I see IoT devices, I see things I cannot control within my security ecosystem. I see things that are going to vulnerabilities that I may not be able to manage in large organizations of, you know, when you go to organizations of 100, 150 and and, and more employees that are spread all over the country, it becomes 
a, a greater challenge and so this vulnerability does really concern me because it's essentially a spoofing attacks um the paper which was published by purdue university with um credit to compromise to researchers to yang Lang wow uh yu hong um Vershwar, dave ying tian anthony bianchi matthias pyre and dong wan ju are the researchers um that found this vulnerability and one that we should be paying attention to because iot devices do have an impact um and that's the case in other news i'm following today the dog indicted uh two the doj sorry indicted two hackers for defacing websites with pro iran messages um the doj also charges five hackers part of a chinese state-sponsored group apt 41 uh the doj is no longer naming and shaming folks they're going right after these guys um interpol red notices you bet your sweet tail um and the national guard Cybersecurity units are ready to protect the elections as well that's it for our practitioner brief here today folks make sure you subscribe give us five stars we'll be back tomorrow to wrap up this week also, at the end of this month, I've got a really, really cool um, live program that we're going to be doing on LinkedIn and YouTube. So make sure you tune in uh, and get ready for that. We're going to be wrapping up those details hopefully by uh, early next week and be able to drop you the date and time we'll be doing this so you can join in. We're going to be recapping the month. I'm going to have two special guests on the program to do this. Um, it's really going to be phenomenal. Um, so again, that's it for us here today. I'll sign off now and let you all know. Make sure you tune into our Sys Talk podcast again. And um, stay cyber safe, folks.